everybody, it's me, Tina. Video 2 of not... It's not once save, always save. It's a not, not, no, no, okay? Everything I preach, okay, is the things that God wants me to talk, okay? I'm God's mouthpiece. Sometimes I feel like it's not me that's speaking, but the Holy Spirit in me that's speaking. So just because I, you see Tina... But the spirit that's moving in this vessel is not Tina. Sometimes the Holy Spirit is speaking and moving through Tina. That is what speaking in tongue is. You know how uh, demons possess people? And they don't know, they don't remember nothing? And they'll go, they'll go crazy. Okay? If demons can possess people, what make you think the Holy Spirit can't take control? If you don't, if you allow it to. Yes, the Holy Spirit. If you pray, okay, this is very great. Um, you know, when God say, um, and uh, what was that? And praying in spirit and in truth, okay? Spirit, that's the Holy Spirit, okay? This is not just normal spirit. This is the Holy Spirit using your body to worship God. It's like, you know, when I'm praying in the spirit, which is, I call it speaking in another form, speaking in tongues, okay? Speaking in tongues is when you, the spirit is speaking through you, through your lips. And it's moving your body, okay? That's the spirit, that's speaking in tongues, okay? And so the, the spirit, like, praise the Lord, honor and glory. Like, Miss Tina don't do that. Come on, like, Miss Tina... Do not do that. So when when you pray, pray in spirit and truth, this Holy Spirit is like he's diligent. He he will give you. He could. He's the only one that can help you to pray hours on end. I'm serious. Like when you get into spirit, you pray without ceasing. You pray so intensively. Like it's like I sometimes I get a little freak freaked out because I'll like praise the Lord, honor and glory is to the Lord forever and ever. Like. The devil don't praise the Lord like that. I'm like, dang, I don't even praise the Lord like that. And I know that's the Holy Spirit. That's why God said we must pray in spirit and in truth. Because the Holy Spirit only knows what we lack and what we need. So that our performance get better, right? So, let's make it clear. God still speak. Speaking in tongues. God still speak. Speaks in dreams and visions, okay? God still speaks, okay? Just because we are not in the Bible, that doesn't make us less important than all those characters in the Bible. We are just as important to God in the Bible, okay? Depending on how serious you are, that's where our rank is, okay? So a lot of people just think I'm a young Asian girl, so they, and I'm not in the Bible, and they discredit me from the people from the Bible. And they're like, I'll believe the people in the Bible, but I won't believe you. Like, come on, let's make sense of this. How else you think they were able to hear God? Dreams and visions, speaking in tongues, just the same thing. Whatever they received, I receive. I'm simply not in the Bible. How about I just write another Bible for everybody? You know what I mean? Like, duh. I'm just saying, John himself said, we are brothers and sisters in Christ. He's saying we're equally, equally important, okay? As your brother, as your companion. There you go, okay? So don't give me this, this, uh, this, oh, uh, you don't know nothing, okay? Don't discredit me because I'm Asian or I'm a girl, okay? <laughs> you do you not know what God gave me. Anyways, <clears throat> so to continue um, on that last video, it's uh, it's very sad to say that, you know, as much as as much effort that I want to give out to save for the people that left behind. Okay, the people that get raptured, I'm not gonna talk much on them. They know, they know what, they know what's up. You know, they did what they got. They passed out the test. I mean, they passed the test. They going, they going to a place. The new Jerusalem, dispense it in the air. Check out my video. Okay, they, they, they're good. Okay. God has put me, 
Okay, you want to be a white robe become be, before you come a red robe, okay? Things I say, I don't exalt myself, okay? God exalt me. God showed me this through dreams and visions, okay? That I will be kings and priests, okay? The red robes are few uh, among the white robes, okay? And I was coming back to deal with these people that I don't want to deal with, okay? Because these people are still, they're like, everybody wants to be in heaven because that's like the most perfect place. Everybody's already... Uh, taught, trained to overcome and everything is perfect up there. There's not going to be anybody going to hurt you. But the fact that because God shows so much for me and show me his love and it makes me love so much of these people that don't make it, you see? Like the, the, the people up there, they don't worry nothing down here. But the, the fact that God, I, I ask so much and God revealed me so much and that I feel so much love and empathy for the ones that left behind. Especially my family and friends. And some of the people I know. And some people evangelize. I feel pity on them. Because you know why? I'm like, I think to myself, I could be I could be in their status right now. And, and I would be wanting somebody to, to come and save my butt, you know? I would I would really be thankful for that. Okay? But uh, that's why. That's why I feel like, you know, God showing me that. He still love these people. You know, he still want to save these people. But these people have to lay down their pride. Pride is what killing them. Okay? So what happened is uh, I was evangelizing to, uh, I'm trying to evangelize to this, I don't know if it's brother or sister in Christ, one of a, a fellow person on here, on YouTube that I've been messaging for the longest and it's, he still doesn't get it. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay? Um, I'm going to link a video of this girl, okay? She's in the same situation as he is. They are we all in classroom, y'all. Some people get in it, some people not. It's all down because they don't uh, pay attention, and secondly, they don't want to pay attention. Okay, so uh, they don't want to do what's right. It's simple. Is they don't want to do what's right. They're too busy in their self worth, their selfness, nefs as self. Okay, they're not focused on God. It's simple. Okay, so what happened is this girl in the classroom. God was teaching her about a plant as being a soul and how the plant, uh, being an individual soul, needs to take up the water and the soil, okay? And the Son is the Father God. The water is Jesus, okay? And uh, the soil is the Holy Spirit. It needs all the environment, uh, all the, the nutrients to grow. You can't have one or the other to have this plant and grow, Okay? So, uh, I was, uh, trying to germinate some seeds. Uh, try to grow my little garden. Let me show you my little garden. Wait up. Here it is. This is my little thing I've germinated. So, a guy was telling me, water alone will germinate, will activate the belief which is repentance of sin. But it could only sustain for a while, but it needs soil. It needs nutrients, which is the word, okay? So in a dream, my recent dream I had, I'm not going to lie, I've been lazy. And lazy, is, it's also bad because I'm not doing God's mission. I'm not saving the lost. That's the whole mission of God. And I mean, not, if I'm not being on on top of this game, a lot of souls will be perished because I lack to do my uh, investments or I'm lacking in to do my job for God, right? So in the dream, I was, uh, my sister, she was all busy into God's work, cleaning up the house, and I knew this was like heaven. Was, uh, you know, my dad's house always represent heaven. She was cleaning up the house. She was keeping herself busy. And then uh, we had the uh, big, like the tree that was like cut off, right? And then the, the soil around that tree, right, was really enriched soil. And she was plotting one plant at a time, one plant, one plant. She was sowing the seeds into the soil. That's why God said, some are the sower and some are the reaper. So in this dream, I had to understand, I thought I was just going to germinate it. And here you go, pass it on, somebody else do the sowing. I thought I was going to be the activator, but God wants me to be the activator and the sower. 
I gotta sow these seeds. God is like, you see all the ones that you uh, activated? You activated them well. That was not the, the hard part, okay? The hard part was to sow them in the soil, which is the word of God, okay? So I was like, <clears throat> And I tried. Don't don't get me wrong, man. I tried to evangelize with these people. One by one. I care for one by one. But it's taking too much time. And I was I was telling God, Lord, I sowed that seed my brother in law all oh, for one whole year, my spit and effort, and he came and stabbed me and lost grace. I basically was not successful. <laughs> so then I again I'm just telling God, you know, send the person to me. That I'm going to sow in the soil that they will actually mature and bear fruit for me. Okay? That is the goal here. It's not enough to just grow. But you have to grow to mature your fruit. Okay? So, in the dream, my sister was sowing the seed. She was very working really hard. You know, on the ground. All throughout that, you know, I was just observing her. She wasn't complaining at me. I was just looking and looking like, dang, she's working hard. And I hear just playing around not doing nothing and I felt like in a way kind of ashamed you know what I mean but I like man I, I live here I need to participate you know I, I'm in God's kingdom I gotta participate so because I'm gonna be eating some of this food so I gotta participate so before I got a chance to put this on the ground all became soil like all of them rot <laughs> So I was like, crap, that means I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to start all over again to germinate some seeds. So I was thinking I would just like sprinkle it on the soil and then water it on or something. But uh, what I'm saying is in this dream, God wants me to sow the seeds into the soil, which is the word. Okay. I'm going to like a video for this girl where, you know, Jesus was teaching her about this plant with the soil and she didn't get it. I get it. Okay. I, I made it. Okay, not that I just made it. I'm in a, a rank of teacher. Okay, God had placed me in a rank of teacher. I'm not even in the rank of a student. Well, it's like I'm in uh, half half. Like I'm in the way of leaving the rank of a student to become a teacher or a worker be to become a manager. Okay, so God is giving me in a high position because. God, trust me, because what I've overcame, there are things I've overcame, I've made some certain qualification, okay? And so don't be telling me I don't know what I'm saying, okay? Go ask God, go do your homework. What has God told me about, you know, what has he showed you about me for you to debunk me and accredit me and all that stuff, okay? So, um, Listen to me when I say a lot of my things, if not all of my things, are from God, okay? Uh, a person don't... Okay. What was I saying about the... <clears throat> the what save? Uh, what save, always save is a life of the pit of hell. It's a test, Okay. Everyone is born without sin. And I was talking in my other video about these cocoa birds. They were born evil. Okay, it's in their blood. And uh, unless you have, that's why I say unless you're born again, have a blood infusion. You gonna be like these evil cuckoo birds. Okay, what these cuckoo birds are parasite birds where they their parents are so lazy, right? They drop their eggs in another nest. And then the baby born and kick out all the other eggs. And then only itself live, right? And so that was, uh, God was telling me, give me a metaphor. He always used metaphor to get me to understand things. Even through a movie or just a dream or anything. He could use anything to use a metaphor to explain, to answer my question. To let me know that he's still speaking to me, okay? Or he still speak in general, okay? So what happened is, uh... Everybody's going to go through a test, okay? You, in life, you learn, you know, you, you watch movie, this and that, you know what's good and you know what's bad. You be the judge, okay? You be the judge of your own life and you will know what's good and evil, okay? The thing is, you need to uh, stand firm where you stand is where you want, that's what you're going to practice. Okay, where you stand is where what you're going to practice. Okay, if you practice righteousness, 
yeah, you're gonna fall. For example, in the beginning, I did like 10, 10 sins, right? I'm an aim for righteousness. So the more I practice in doing the arrow and, and, and strive for that perfectness of stop doing sin, the more I practice, the less sin I'm doing. It doesn't make, does it, does it say that I'm 100% better right away? No. It took time. That's why you practice an arrow, right? The, the more you practice, the better you get. The better you get at, at, at getting, at being a better, righteous, holy person. That doesn't mean you're not going to fall sometime, but you're able to get up and continue to practice that righteousness. Okay? But here's the, 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 the lawlessness. When you, this, when you, when you do, it's kind of in reverse, right? Uh, when, uh, so it's going in reverse. So in reverse is you, uh, try not to do sin, but you find yourself keep doing sin, more sin, and you don't care. You keep doing the sin. That's practicing. As in, what if you do, there's, you do that and it, 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 it's, it's just more and more to it. Like, you know, well, you know what practicing sin is, right? Uh, <clears throat> practicing sin to me is lawlessness. No rules. No just system. No making sense. Okay? Sin don't make sense. You steal people's money? That don't make sense. You rape somebody? That definitely don't make sense. You know? Lying? Oh my gosh, that don't make sense at all. Sin doesn't have common sense. It have no reason. His reason is not logic. His reason is twisted. His reason is corrupted. Its reason is stupid and foolishness. Okay? That is what sin brings. So, why does God say the wicked will not understand? God wants you to be closer to righteousness, closer to God, so you can understand the truth. But if you keep not dying to your old ways and follow the new ways, you, you continue being stupid, foolish, deep into hell, rotten, don't make any sense, and getting people to hate you, all kinds of stupid stuff, you know? That is what the devil is, okay? He just don't know it. Nah, he knows it, but here's the thing. <clears throat> a lot of people, they are without hope is because they've, they've allowed themselves to be in this condition so long they can't pull themselves back up because they know, they know, just like the two fallen angels know, they screwed it up. And they practice, and the more they continue to practice, the more it sealed their faith. Okay, the little sin will graduate to the big sin. The biggest sin that will mature their fruit is the action. Okay, remember how I said the fruit of faith? There is a fruit of condemnation. Okay, when your when your fruit of condemnation is at its fullest. There's no turning back. That's what I was talking about. My brother-in-law. He was born again. He fooled himself into thinking, you know, it's fine. I'll just sin. I'll just steal from Tina. I'll just I don't lie about it or whatever. And God will forgive me. Think about it. God is a God of revenge. God is a God of law. You dare to tempt with this? You dare to play with this? You play with God's blood? That's what he's saying. That's what what God's saying. You, you dare to tamper with this? Well, if you dare to touch sin and tamper with, you have no fear of God. You have no fear. You have no fear. But once you initial the act, okay, remember, everybody start with no sin. But your little sin will mature to big sin. And your big sin will 
seal your faith, okay? And it will not be reversible no more. And this is what I'm talking about, these rotten eggs, okay? And so, once they do this sin, they know that they've gone so far as to step all over God's blood. Don't get me wrong. I've done this, but I was quick to turn back. And I prayed with insurance. I was able to get a second chance. God was telling me not everybody get a second chance. Not everybody get a second chance. Okay, I was that lucky few, okay? So a lot of these people that have done the step, you know how I was talking about the, the, the step, the fruit of faith? And it's going to be through works. Everything's a work, okay? The the fruit of condemnation, I mean, uh, uh, not condemnation, uh, demption, like they're damned, okay? The fruit of being damned, okay? So that's the fruit of being damned. They, once they, uh, the tests come, and if they, uh, done something wrong, right? If you do something wrong, everybody do things wrong. But there's still hope in if you confess. What is confess? To bring it into the open. To admit you're wrong. To feel remorse. To know that oh, how it hurt somebody. And importantly, to turn from that way. Okay? You should know this. Most of the time, you should know this before you do this action. Okay? But, uh, here's the thing. God is going, this is how God's going to judge things. Okay? So you have a grasp of how God judges. People think, oh, you believe in God and you're, 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 you're good to go. No! Stop being ignorant. Okay? This is how God is going to judge people's heart. This judging is very complex. It's not just because you say you believe in Jesus and you're saved, okay? That's a start, okay? The, you have to mature the fruit, okay? God is going to see at the time when you do the sin. Are you a believer? Have you been an active believer? Are you been a born again a believer, okay? An atheist, okay, for example, if you, you know, there's so many examples, we'll just use killing or stealing. If you, if you steal as an atheist, if you steal as a believer, and if you steal as a born again believer, who do you think that will be most effective, okay? And all three of these people stole. Who do you think out of these three are going to get punished the most? A people that don't know God will think this one is going to get the most punishment. But all this, okay, for instance, all these have sta uh, steel, right? And, uh, and, uh, and, and, and you think who's going to get the most punishment? Okay? There are atheists, people that don't believe in God. There are Christians that believe in Jesus, that's never been born again. There are Christians that are been born again. Okay, you, you people, normal people would think this one will get the, 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 the most punishment because they don't believe in Jesus. But in reality, this is the one who's going to get the most punishment <coughs> if they don't repent. Why? If they were to die in their sins and not repent of their sins, this one was set free. Okay, the born again have the Spirit of God in them. So when they do anything wrong, the, you know, the voice of God is much greater. So when you do something, it's no, it's no different from throwing poop in God's face, you know. Just as, as a metaphor. When you do sin as a believer, okay? These people do sin. They know not what they're doing, right? But these ones are in between this and this. They semi know what they're doing. But this one has a reality truth. Has the Holy Spirit in them. They are one with God, right? So when they do sin... 
this one will get the most punishment from these two. So what I'm trying to say is the closer you are to God, when you do good things, you get great rewards. But again, if you do wrong things, your punishment is worse than these two. Why? It's because if you seen God, just like the, you know, the angels, I asked God, why is the 200 fallen angel don't receive forgiveness? God said, they seen me thousands of years. They serve me. They should know better. They are a thousand years old with knowledge and wisdom. And this atheist hasn't been even a baby in Christ yet. This one's a baby in Christ. This one's like, we'll say a toddler or a teenager or adult, okay? Because there's different development in the board again, okay? In the condition of your development in God is where how God is going to judge you according to the sin. Yes, you're able to ask for forgiveness of all the sins. But you have to turn from it it's not just to to say oh lord i'm sorry but you have to try to give back that money which you took or take that money to charity if you can't find that person but it's best that you could give that money to that person back okay and confess that's why god said it's one thing of doing sin it's another thing to confess if you do sin and you keep it a secret because God said the devil, he does things that he does in darkness. God does things in light. So that way, when you confess, you bring everything to light. And you're showing God, I am of the light. You know, I don't do things in the darkness like the devil. So when you confess, you're allowing, your chance, you're allowing yourself to earn that repentance back. To, to earn repentance. To earn your way back and not seal your faith to screw your your fruit of being damned okay so what happened is this brother in Christ yeah he, he, he did a lot of sin he does lots and lots of sins just like me before that okay so when he came back to God that he knows the truth and he was born again and God had set him free from what was it smoking and all that And yet, God said, he'll never, he never will forsake us. He will never leave us. It's true, he won't. But our sins, our sins will allow us to separate from him. He won't go nowhere. That scripture say, we will go nowhere. He will be right here for your return. But you must return. You step out from the line. You must come back. God's not, you know. You have to come back into the fold. Okay? So what happened is, uh, with the test, if you're not, if you're not rooted in the word, okay? I am trying to bring out words for people so they can be rooted in the word so they won't be foolishness, okay? Because what happened is, on that day, that's why God said on that day that anybody to say, Lord, Lord, and then the ten virgins, five wise, five foolish, okay? Five of them are foolish. God saved, used the same scripture, I knew you not. Just the one he said that anybody in those days would call, uh, call me Lord, Lord. And God would say, I knew you not. Why? Why does they, God call them, I knew you not? It's because, ay, 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 you a disgrace to be. You think you know me. You think you want to go in because you think you know me. But you don't know me. Because if you knew me, you knew I, you know I'm about the laws. And to keep the laws. And I shed the blood so you can upkeep the laws.
but you refuse to believe that and practicing sin and now you think and you kind of come back to me and said oh and, and try to justify yourself through these scripture yet you don't even know God is telling me in their heart is they're twisted already okay I hate to say this I want to change the idea that they are born corrupted <laughs> like that I mean the wheat and tear like I hate to believe that some of these are born as tears okay so God had me understand they look like humans not all of them are humans okay so uh, a lot of people I'm telling you they will not they will not believe in Jesus because of pride pride of life pride okay they think they're right they're they're, they're good they, they don't need a savior you know and so they're like let me believe this just for extra security but they don't they don't know nothing they're, they're just clueless and when I throw scriptures at them and then they're like when I tell them repent even John they they give me scriptures of John they give me but they, they don't like it's like they want their eyes open when their eyes are closed <laughs> that's how they read like okay I read this part and I'm gonna believe this part but I'm not I'm not gonna believe this part here you know I'm just gonna decide I'm just gonna blank out this part you know what I mean <laughs> like come on you guys John says make straight the way for the king what is make straight? Straight your path out. Straight your life out. What does that mean? In another term, repent. God, John himself. And this guy gave me a bunch of scripture and John and all this stuff. I'm like, are you even reading scripture? It says, repent. The first thing that came out, the very first thing that came out of his mouth or statement, make straight your path repent that's a water baptism that's a blood but it's like I don't get how they are reading this and they're absolutely not seeing this that's why God say they have eyes but they don't see God is covering their eyes freaking was this a speck freaking sin they don't get it. They must take the dang speck, which is pride, out of their eye and repent so they can, oh, what, what? See with both eyes, not with one eye. You can't see the whole thing with one eye. You got to open two eyes to see better. You get it? God is telling me, Tita, calm your butt. Be patient with these people. A fifth grader, a, a, a born again, a born again, a new baby in Christ will not understand a fifth grade, nor a fifth grade will understand a high school student. So be calm, okay? Be calm. That's why I pray for patience. Because without patience, I'll be like, oh my God, I'd give up a long time ago. Okay, so anyways. God had me, you know, I'm not the brightest. I'm not the smartest, okay? But when it comes to Jesus, I'm really smart, okay? Because why? I pray. I ask. And uh, God gives. That's it. When I was growing up, third grade, I flunked third grade. I wasn't smart, you guys, okay? You know, I, like, even after flunking third grade, it, and then after that, when I was going to school, Everybody would finish their test, right? And I would still be on my second question. And I felt like an idiot. Because I'm, I'm older than these kids one years old. And I'm still so much behind them. So I had to scribble it really fast. to So that, that they don't think I'm stupid. <laughs> Which, in, in reality. And I know things don't happen in my life for a reason. God was telling me, you see how it feels that you're old and that you're that slow. Okay? 
Now, I'm going to give you in reversal. You're going to be young. And you're going to know a lot. And you're going to start teaching these older men. You know, men that think they know it, but they don't know it. Right? Or, you know, stuff like that. But don't look down on them because they're not yet, there yet. In a way, I shall not call them foolishness. You know what I mean? Because, just because they're not there yet. I shouldn't look down on them because I know how it feels to flunk third grade and still be the slowest in the class, like super slow. Like my learning was absolutely slow because I, my attitude was if I'm going to answer these questions, I will answer everyone correctly. So I, it was my prep pre that I was very careful in respecting all the answers that everything would become right and then you know I didn't want to you know keep my bunch of things no answers so I just scribbled the rest of it right just a hit miss kind of like that that was like <laughs> that was the, you know that the beats the whole purpose of you know so um, in a way I should spend time but not too much time because uh, if I'm, if I figure if I spent less time on those, and if I get more of the other question, I would get more, more points instead of you know three point three correct points. I answered three three correct points out of fifty questions. If I do them fast and and answer these questions fairly quickly, and uh, at least I will get more than three answers done. So I need to speed it up. Is what I need to do. That that's me. I I I I need to speed things up. I'm 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 low. I'm slow. I'm slow. Well, let's let's put it that. I'm slow, but when it comes to God, I'm really fast and and because God's telepathic, you see. <clears throat> okay. So in a way, a lot of these people that are new, that are full of sin, okay. God, see, He's not having me come to the people that are well, that don't have the speck in their eye. God wants me to talk to the one that has a dang speck in their eye. Because obviously, I don't have any more speck in my eye. That's why I was able to ex see truth, explain the truth, okay? And importantly, it's not just explain and see truth, but to be able to do the truth, okay? God said, whoever sees it here and do it is a wise one so it's not it's easy to say but it's very hard to do but when you're able to do that's where god puts you in authority simple okay so it's not me that does it i always pray that i overcome i always pray so that god will help me to do these things so that i'm not a hypocrite so that i'm able to say preach these things to get people saved it's all about the harvest okay so you know in dreams there's a lot of uh pastors you know these men that will on that day that will say lord lord shall, you know uh you know how we not prophesy your day but water done this and not that for you okay in this dream i saw everyone was putting into application to be in that authority, okay, in God's kingdom, and they all failed. They they didn't even get the robe, the white robe. I got a red robe among the white robes, okay. So I was a lot of so one of this guy that I know that I was trying to tell him that is not one save. I was correcting him. He's a, like a, a small pastor on YouTube. I was trying to correct him. And in the dream, I think that was him. He was trying to apply. And he didn't make it in. Okay? <laughs> and then I, I was like... And then he applied again. And he was like, oh, no way! There's no way! Like, he could not believe that he was not able to get in. And he preached about God all his life. Or, like, a long time. Okay? And I could... And then yet he go bashing all their other pastors. But the funny thing is, is he's the one who's not even getting saved. You know what I mean? He's pointing out and he's putting all all these uh pastors how how these are false pastors. But he, the funny thing is he doesn't even know that he was a false pastor and that I was evangelizing so he could get straight. 
But I'm telling you, a lot of these pastors, they got too much pride on them. They think, oh, you know, uh, I serve the Lord. A born again member. These pastors that are pastors, they have to be born again. They have to have the Holy Spirit to have knowledge, wisdom. Okay, but because listen, if they are not tilting towards repentance, they are simply blinded to the truth. Okay, if they don't pr uh, preach a life of repentance and holiness, they are deceiving themselves. Okay? They are blinding themselves. Sin is a speck in your eye. It's not allowing you to see truth. You think you're seeing because you have the other eye, but you're not seeing the complete truth. Okay, So a lot of these uh, pastors, they were applying for the position that God gave me. I, I wasn't like really applying. I was just applying for fun and I got it. But these guys were seriously applying for my positions as kings and priests. And they weren't even in as the white robes. They weren't even in as a white robes. Okay? You gotta be a white robe before you be a red robe, right? They weren't even in. These guys believed. Half of these pastors... If they are dreaming and prophesying, they will have the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Some of these pastors are not, I don't believe. I believe if they become a pastor, they, uh, in a way, they are, they've done the water baptism, which is repentance of sin, but they've never done the Baptism of fire. Let me see. Hold up. I'm so confused because, you know, it could be anyway. Because there's so millions and millions of people. There's not a definite answer because everybody's scenario will be different. That's what God was explaining to me. And how God was going to do the judgment. It's not, you know, it's very many layers to it so all i'm saying in this video is my point is don't tamper with sin sin has nothing going on for you you need a practice of life of holiness and righteousness whatever you need whatever that you feel like it's is tampering to the will of god for you you need to pray against it anything that is that's causing you to fulfill that purpose you know Pray against it. 